everybody this is Bruce and my off-grid solar RV here I wanted to show you my solenoid charging solenoid constant duty solenoid that I got from eBay it's 150 amp it's only less than 15 bucks and the reason I got it is because uh, in this giant junction box they have two solenoids that uh, are actually just battery cutoff switches so uh, when one of them went out, I, uh, I used a small wire to connect up both sides of the solenoid. But I realized that if that happened with the starter one, I'd have to use big wire to do it. So I just eliminated it and put in that stud, which cost about seven bucks. So uh, it just eliminated that and it eliminated all this wire here. That's like what? That's almost... 14 feet of wire because they ran it from this solenoid all the way over to here to this side and then they had this solenoid which was the original charging solenoid with a little delay timer there and it didn't work half the time so I was like you know what I'm, I'm gonna get rid of all this wire and all this headache and put put in this new solenoid that works really good and like I said this is a real easy fix and it actually works a lot better. So uh, let's go inside and I'll show you the delay timer I put in. See the kids. Say hi kids. Where the doggies at? Where's the kids? On the bed, of course. Where else would they be? What are you doing? Say hi. Say hi. Anyway. Here's my dash. This is the best dash in the world to work on. That solenoid comes also with a uh, auxiliary start button. So when you replace it, make sure you get that wire coming onto that solenoid from that button. So if you have that. And then that delay timer, I just bought my own off of eBay. It was about $650. And uh, it's pretty cool. It works. You see the one red light comes on. It's got a adjustable dial zero to 60 seconds I got it set for about 20 seconds maybe yep there it goes it kicked on and now that solenoid is engaged both battery banks so uh, it's the best of both worlds and with the uh, connectors and everything I got the same zero gauge cable much shorter lengths I don't even have 30 bucks into the whole project so I'm real happy because uh Dual battery isolator costs minimum 60 bucks, and if you try to get that original solenoid from the RV place, that's going to be 80 or 100. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys. Say hi. What are we doing back here, huh? What are we doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go out. You ready to go outside? You ready to go outside? Come on, let's go outside. Okay. Well, as you can see, these guys are ready to go outside. So we'll talk to everybody later. Bye.